Welcome to Daily Airline News. I'm Jeffrey Thomas. Today, we're going to focus on a turbulence report uh, from a website called Turbly. But before we do that, just a request. Please subscribe. Please like us. Please leave comments. We'd love to hear from you and we try to respond to all your, uh, your comments and thoughts. But let's get down to this turbulence report. Turbulence rankings are made up using turbulence forecast data from NOAA and the UK Met Office. Every six hours, it saves a snapshot of the most recent forecast covering the entire world over 18 pressure levels. And at the end of each month, it combines them to derive monthly and finally yearly statistics. You can even put in your flight details and it'll give you a report of the weather conditions you will experience. So as you can see on the screen, the top four worst routes are in South America around the Andes. Next comes Kathmandu to Lhasa, followed by Shandong to Lhasa. In fact, as you would expect, the Andes and the Himalayas feature in virtually all of the top 10 worst turbulent routes. In the US, the worst routes are centered around Denver, with flights to Albuquerque, Salt Lake City, Bozeman, and Jackson. Of course, these cities are in and adjacent to the Rockies, which are notorious for the impact on turbulence. Likewise, in Europe, with routes connecting Turin, Nice, Geneva, and Zurich as hotspots. Not surprisingly, the worst airports by continent are Denver for North America, Santiago for South America, Turin for Europe, Kathmandu for Asia, Durban for Africa, and Christchurch, New Zealand for Oceania. The mention of Albuquerque reminds me of the great 1979 film The Pilot, which was directed by and starred Cliff Robinson, who was a bit of an avgeek. He plays the role of an alcoholic captain, um, but a brilliant captain. In that film, one scene has Robinson requesting a diversion near Albuquerque to avoid unforecast clear air turbulence. The diversion saves his passengers from the rough air, which hits another company, DC-8, while the diversion takes his guests on a scenic route over the Grand Canyon and Monument Valley. Let's listen to a little of the film, which is available to watch on YouTube, and there is a link below to watch it. I recommend it. Well, I better tell the folks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Because of uh, suspected clear air turbulence, we're going to have to divert northwest toward the Albuquerque area, which is going to put us into Phoenix um, a bit late. About uh, 25 minutes, and uh, we apologize. This is Captain Hagen. We're uh, estimating Phoenix in about 40 minutes, but our approach today gives us a nice view of the Grand Canyon and Monument Valley, so take your cameras, folks. And, folks, thanks to our good friends in air traffic control, as well as the good uh, graces of North American, we're going to get a very rare treat today. We're going to be able to fly a lot lower over the canyon, and as well as Monument Valley, but I want all of you to know that in no way we'll be, be compromising safety. We just hope you'll all enjoy this very unusual treat. What you're looking at now are the uh, famous uh, buttes and mesas sculptured by erosion. Width of time, is it? And on the other side, over on your right now, See the uh, exact place where uh, John Ford shot scenes from Stagecoach, I think, around 1939. My darling Clementine, later on. And about 40 other famous movies were photographed right, right around down there. All you folks on the uh, on the right side, if you want to go over to the left, just I'm sure your good neighbors will let you take a peek. Go right ahead. All your folks on the left side, you want to go over to the right side? You ask your friendly neighbor on the right, and I'm sure they'll let you go over and take them.
Now, for those concerned about turbulence, sure, it's unpleasant and can be frightening. But your aircraft is built to take this sort of punishment and way more. With modern weather radar and constant updates, the worst of it is avoided. But have a look at this video of the strength test of the wings that support your flight. Here firstly is the 787 wing load test. This video comes from Boeing. And now the Airbus A320 wing load test from the YouTube channel Insider. Again, there's a link below for your interest. So these wing strength tests simulate two lifetimes of the loads a wing will be subjected to, and then the wing is bent up to and must exceed 150% of its design load before it cracks to get the tick off for certification. That is some strength test. I hope you've enjoyed today's edition of Daily Airline News, which we're focused on turbulence. Please subscribe to us. Please like us. Please leave your comments. Love to hear from you. And please tune in tomorrow for another edition of Daily Airline News.